Calculations are a great way to return data. Calculations can return results for a single row or return results for a group in a report. Let's build a report that contains a number of query calculations. We are going to build a report that shows our actual and projected revenues, as well as the variance for each one. We'll show this information at the country and sales staff level. Finally, we'll add in a column that shows each person's contribution to total, as well as their country's contribution to total. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new report. And I'm going to pick the one column. Make sure that you're in page design mode. And we'll add in our data source. We're going to use Go Sales Query, our sample relational package. I'm going to start off by adding a list report. To build my list, I will add in country and staff name from my sales staff query subject. And from sales, I'll add in revenue. From the sales target namespace, I'll add in sales target. To create my variance, I need to use a query calc. I'll come up to my toolbox and add a query calc at the end. We'll name this query calc variance. And from the data items tab, drag over revenue minus sales target. We're going to validate that. Make sure we have no errors. We'll add a second query calc to show our percentage of total. We're going to call this one contribution to total. And to perform this calculation, we're going to need a function. From the summaries functions, drag over percentage. And from the data items tab, drag over revenue. Make sure that your cursor is in the right place before you drag. Close the parentheses and validate. Most errors occur due to missing parentheses or commas, so always double check by validating that you have everything correct. Before I sample this, I'm going to make sure that my formatting is correct by control clicking both the column body and the overall row. I'm going to set this to a percentage. Make sure I've got the right thing selected. I'm going to set this to percentage with two decimal places. Lastly, I'm going to group on country. Let's quickly switch to page preview to see how this is looking. Now I see that Australia was 1.87% of my total. That provides good information to the business. However, I see that Alice Walter was 0.41% of my total. Not a lot of business value in seeing that information. What would have a greater business value is to see what percentage Alice Walter was of Australia. To do that, we need to change our function. Let's go back to design mode, and we'll double click our function. The percentage function has a for option. And I see that when I go and I select it from the function list. This allows me to set the scope of the function. So I can come in here and go for, and from my data items, add in country. Close my parentheses again and validate. 
I'm going to click OK. And once more, I'll do a preview to see how that looks. I now see that Alice Walter is 21.75% of Australia. Here, there's a business value. Unfortunately, I now have Australia and all my other countries at 100%. That is not useful. We need a way to have one function for the rows and a second function for the summaries. Switch back to page design. If I try to delete just this item, it will delete the entire row. I also cannot edit that individual item. What I need to do is unlock my report. By default, all reports are locked. A locked report controls what I can and cannot do in terms of adding items or deleting items. An unlocked report gives me unlimited potential. It also sets me up for potential problems. A best practice is to unlock a report, do what you need to do, then lock that report right back up. So I'm going to unlock this report, select just the data item, summary contribution to total, and delete it. I now have an empty cell. Into this empty cell, I can drag another query calculation. This one we will call country contribution to total. And we'll use our original percentage of revenue formula. Validate it to make sure we have no errors, and we're looking good. I want to double check, make sure that that is still formatted the way I want. Looks great. And since I am done, I am going to come up here and lock my report back up. Again, you always want to make sure that you lock a report back up when you are completed with your task. Now I feel confident this report is going to show me what I'd like. So I'm going to set a property on the list. I'm going to set my rows per page to 200. And I'm going to run the report as HTML. I see now Alice Walter at 21.75. And I see Australia 1.87. When I scroll down to the bottom, I see I have 100% total for my countries. Each individual is shown as their contribution to the country. Each country is shown as their contribution to the overall total. In this demo, we used a number of query calculations. We used functions with options. And we learned how to unlock and lock a report, a very powerful feature that when combined with other things gives you unlimited potential for your reports.